my name is Carol Flavin. Today I'm going to show you a video about how I made a harbour on my layout which is called the Edgehay and Strines Railway. Now this layout lives and fills a large bedroom in my house on the top floor and it was made for and with my grandchildren. They had a lot of input even during lockdown which was a lot of the time when I was building it I sent them weekly videos telling them what I'd been doing, what I wanted to do and asking them for ideas. There were 52 of them actually and as a result of those I've ended up making some of these how I did it videos as well. Now harbour, the children wanted one and I was quite happy to make one. I had a very large bridge that I'd made for the Great Model Railway Challenge when I was team leader of the Loco Ladies. That determined the size. And there is a track, a higher level track, that goes across that through a tunnel and into, um, underneath some mountains or in some mountains. We wanted water because the kids wanted boats and they wanted to be able to move the boats around. I realised that I was going to be challenging myself to try and make it as realistic as possible but to also incorporate all the things they wanted. They wanted a slipway, they wanted a boathouse, they wanted lots of cranes, uh, they wanted to be able to move the boats around on it. So I had a lot of fun making it. It was probably one of my favourite pieces. It is flown into or run into by a river that goes all the way back to a lake, which is at the bottom of the mountains that I've made. So there was a lake, there's a river, there are quite a lot of bridges that go across that river, road and rail bridges, and that runs into this harbour. The one thing I had to do at a later stage, once I'd sort of finished it really, was when Jodie pointed out that harbours have to have proper harbour walls, Grandma. So I made a back scene, or I painted, hand painted a back scene to create the harbour walls, largely because there wasn't any room to actually physically make some. So, I hope you will be interested in what I did, how I made it, what it started from, what it ended up looking like. Enjoy the video. Edgehay and Strines started as an L shape and this is as we started to expand it to fill the room. I used white paper as a template, which I was able to cut out and create the shapes using the insulation foam. Once I started on the harbour, I created some of the walls and then I painted the depth using my own acrylic paints. I made the walls with a wallpaper that I painted to look like real walls. I used textured wallpaper for the walls, which I painted with grey and a sort of beigey colour. And I also put edging stones, which were also made from pieces of wallpaper, round the edges to make it look realistic. Once I was happy that I'd painted the depth right, I painted layers of water on using structure gel and heavy structure gel, which artists use when they're painting. And I was able to do this and create a real look of movement on the surface of the water. It takes a while to dry between each coat, but it's worth the wait. I used the heavy structure gel with a spatula to create the waves round the edge of the harbour. And then I used a small amount of white paint and a very thin, small white brush to emphasise it. This and the following shots give you some idea of what the harbour looks like. The children and I had a lot of fun sourcing Things like cranes, vehicles, creating a slipway, putting buildings there, adding boats and just generally adding life and movement to the harbour. This is another shot showing the back scene that I painted with the sea and the harbour walls. And also you get a view of the lighthouse, which I drilled and put a flashing light in. It belonged to my father, so therefore it has pride of place even if that place is not necessarily where you'd normally put a lighthouse. I like lighting my layout at night. So you can see the street lights, the flashing light at the top, 
of the lighthouse and also the carriages which I have, which are the lit Hornby carriages that they've recently produced. I've included a few views of the harbour, which I've taken from my camera train, which is a GoPro. I finish with a short tour around the harbour. I do hope you enjoyed that. The video contains some camera train work as well because that allows you to see how the train tracks lie alongside that part of the layout. There are lots of boats. They sometimes move because the kids have been and I think oh I'll just take a few photographs or I'll do this or I'll do that and I discover the whole thing looks completely different to the way I'd created it. Does that matter? Not in the slightest, because that means they've been enjoying playing on it. Anyway, I hope to speak to you again soon. Look after yourselves. Bye-bye.